Tonight, a Gastonia tow truck driver claims he was arrested for five words on his sign. This happened last week as he was booting cars next to the city's new multi-million dollar Fuse Baseball Park. And WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner has more on the competing claims of predatory towing, overzealous ordinances, and limited on-site parking at Gastonia's new ballpark. Brandon Abernathy says his arrest across the street from Gastonia's new Fuse Baseball Park is just the latest turn in a fuse lit months ago. Very, very bad. I'm being harassed on what I'm doing and the job that I've been hired to do. He owns Southside Towing and he says things went south for him last Tuesday as he and his business partner were booting the cars of ballpark attendees who were parking but not shopping at the Save-A-Lot grocery store. Those drivers weren't happy. Police showed up. Officers arrested Abernathy for booting cars without proper towing signs. Abernathy claims the issue police had the lettering on the sign spelling out his company is black when it's supposed to be red and white. The other 102 words are all in compliance. Southside towing, hard and affordable towing, six words. Lending me up in jail. Abernathy says for months he's been talking with Gastonia police to make sure everything he does is legal under the city towing ordinance. So if something was wrong, you would think by them being the law, they would inform me and not take a charge out on me and come and arrest me. The honey hunters who play at the ballpark are now informing their customers by placing these signs warning them not to park at the grocery store. Team spokeswoman Veronica Gian says they're committed to being good neighbors to area businesses. At the same time, it is our commitment and our duty to protect our fans as they come to our games. We also do not condone any predatory towing. Abernathy argues he's just doing the job he's hired to do. Gastonia police declined our request for an on-camera interview. In Gastonia, Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte. Thank you, Brandon. Now